Hey guys, Scott Iverson with Solar Guard, and I thought I would make a quick video on how to set up a film handler properly, use it, and show you a couple things that I do differently to possibly help you out that I find makes it a lot easier. So, have a six foot ladder, which is very common for use for a film handler. Um, film handler, roll the film, your ruler that comes with your 72 inch film handler, and the fastener for the bottom. <clears throat> I mentioned I was gonna show you a couple of other things that I do differently. Um, I don't use this, and I'll show you why here in a second. I use something like this that I can grab hold of as well. Got it from Home Depot, a couple of cents, a couple dollars. So what we're gonna do, grab this, our film handler. And I've already drilled a hole in the bottom of the ladder, and I always keep kind of a, a dedicated ladder, so to speak, so it's not doing other purposes. Uh, so we set it up, your notches rest on the edge of the ladder here. So we get a center it, push it in. Start it, tighten it down, and boom. The reason I don't use this, most fiberglass ladders, it's just not deep enough. Some aluminum ones, it works, never last. <laughs> A little bit harder, so I like that one. Uh, next thing, as you're setting up your film handler, all 72s and 60s come with this ruler with a notch that fits in a little recess right underneath here, somewhere. <clears throat> um, if you've used one before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, one thing that I do, um, just personally, I don't like this thing because it's one more thing laying around. I always set up a fabric tape measure that's permanently fixed to the ladder that's perfect conjunction as your film going down for the cut line. <clears throat> Makes it so you never have to break out a tape measure, you never have to break out that ruler, and if you've been in the industry a long time as me, you know that these rivets undoubtedly get worn out and sloppy, and you always bend the heck out of this. So, Grab a roll of film here. Let's just go through the basics of the film handler. You have two three inch sliding hubs that tighten down with the uh, clamp here. And it comes with two cutter heads. You have a little knife in there and you can move them all around. And then when you put them straight or perpendicular to this, they lock into place, they tighten up. And I'll show you how that works. So we take our roll of film. So as we get it where we want it, we tighten it down. And we have our bar that's spring loaded. <laughs> These springs at the end here, there is replacement kits for these. I see a lot of installers, they bend these, they get caught on shit, and we have replacement kits for those. So they'll always be spring loaded. So we bring our film down here. We have a 36 inch roll of film here. And say we need uh, a 20 inch piece and an 18 inch piece. We just take one of our cutter heads, we go to 20 inches there, perfect. And I personally always like to set my left side at absolute zero. Some guys, you know, waver it anywhere in between, it's your personal preference. But if I set mine at zero, I always can rely on the ruler and don't have to do additional math. 
So we have the cutter head in there, that blade. We slide it through and it's gonna cut. So we got a 20 inch piece and an 18 inch piece. Say we need it by uh, 20 inches. <clears throat> so we just slide it down to 20 inches. And this is precise. So we got our 20 by 20 and our 18 by 20. We put our arm down to secure the film. Take our knife. And I always like to hold the clamp just so it stays precise and stays square. Boom, perfect 18 by 20 inch piece. If you're doing French panes, this is a must. If you're doing security film, anything higher than four mil, it's the best investment you could ever possibly do, ever possibly do. I'll put a link in the bottom there for the film handler, a uh, link for the 72 inch one. Best money, you could, yeah, uh, best money you could spend. Flat glass guys, go buy one.